Coach Leach here. Let's get you tuned up with your snark or an optional chromatic tuner. Let's start off by learning some simple music terms and how they apply to our. First off, let's look at these musical symbols. To the far left, we have a sharp sign. And in the center, we have a flat sign. We're not going to use the natural sign to the right because oftentimes it is implied. But what do these symbols mean? For the purpose of tuning, I would like you to think of sharp as tight. As we get more sharp, we are tightening the string. Flat is loose. As we go flat, we are loosening the string. As we tighten the string, it goes up in pitch or becomes sharp. As we go flat, we are loosening the string or going down in pitch. Next, let's look at the musical alphabet. Let's take a look at A at the very start. Understand that the musical alphabet only goes up to G sharp and then starts over again at A. It's important to know this order and be aware of this order. So if you're trying to tune your A string to an A and you pluck it, and it says a B, you need to realize that it is too sharp. If you continue to tighten the string in an attempt to get it to the A that is sharp of your B, you will be going too far sharp or tightening the string too much and the string will break. If you are trying to tune an A and your tuner says B, you would want to loosen or make the string flat until it comes to an A. With violin and viola, it's best to set the instrument down on your lap, take the snark, and clip it onto a peg in an angle where you can see the display screen. On cello and bass, adjust the screen so it's facing upward, and then simply press and attach it to your bridge. Fine tuners are attached to the tailpiece of the instrument. Make sure that the fine tuner that you are adjusting is attached to the string that you are attempting to tune. As you move the fine tuner in a clockwise motion, the string will tighten. A counterclockwise motion will loosen it. Clockwise to go sharp, counterclockwise to go flat. We have the tuner attached to the peg and we are going to tune the A string. Turn the snark on, and we see a little cursor. Pluck the A string of your instrument, and we should get an A. If our instrument is flat or too loose, the red cursor will show up on the left. This means it needs to be tightened. Fine tuner, turn it clockwise. Test again. Our A is still flat and needs to be tightened. And it's in tune. If the cursor shows up to the right of the A and is green, we are too tight. The A is sharp. We need to loosen the string. Go counterclockwise. Test again. And we're back in tune. Let's say, for instance, that the tuner 
brings up a note name that is not the name of the string that you are plucking. We're getting a G sharp. So we need to refer back to the musical alphabet. Is G sharp too tight or too loose? Remember that the musical alphabet repeats. So after G sharp is A once again. G sharp is too loose. It's very close to A. We need to tighten the string clockwise. Now we have A, but it's still flat. Keep tightening. And we're back in tune. Let's say we're tuning the E string and it has an F. Is the F too loose or too tight? Look again at the musical alphabet. We have to loosen it. It's actually pretty dangerously close to breaking. And as we loosen it, come back to E. Uh, 